James, welcome to the show. G'day, mate. Yo, what's happening? Pleasure to be here. It's really good to have you on. It's so cool to hear your voice because we haven't spoken in such a long time. I know, it's been ages. Just a few like random Instagram comments every now and then. Yeah, you know, we were looking back actually. The last time we had you on the show, it was on our YouTube channel, was back in May 2015, would you believe? And uh, we remember we had you over to our place in Brisbane. <laughs> we did a interview in the backyard and then we did some yoga and you had a great down dog. Do you remember that? Oh, I got an amazing down dog. <laughs> it's only gotten better since then. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was fun. That was, that was, I can't believe that was so long ago. But yeah, that was like when I just sort of started talking again, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. We remember um, you had a year of silence in 2014. And then in January, you went on Sunrise, uh, an Australian uh, morning news program. And we heard that you were going to be on ahead of time. And we had a, um, we, we stopped watching TV like 10 years ago, but there was a TV in the converted garage we were staying in in <laughs> Brisbane. And, yeah. and we had a beach sarong hung over it, but we're like, tear off the beach sarong because James is going to be on TV and we've got to watch this Whoa. guy, you know? Because That's we, epic, man. We were just so inspired, you know, to go for a year without talking for the animals. Uh, we just had to watch. And I tell you, mate, that was an interview. You know, it still moves us every time we see a clip of it. Uh, so it was worth taking the sarong off the TV then. <laughs> well, you know, it takes a lot for us to switch on the television. So you did it, mate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it. All right. That's my goal in life to get used to get the TV on. So I'll have to do some more big things coming up. <laughs> oh, interesting. Uh, that's cool. It was a fun day. It was a fun day hanging out. And yeah, I was... I was really stoked with that interview as well. I still get messages about it all the time. So definitely, yeah, definitely was worthwhile. And, you know, it reached millions of people. So what more can you ask for? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, since then, I mean, you have been traveling all over the world. You're super, super busy. Uh, you've even got yeah. an assistant managing your schedule, which is incredible to think that it's grown uh, to this, you know, degree. That was a long time coming. Yeah. I, I should have done that when I started hanging out with you and that back a couple of years ago. I've been doing everything myself until about two months ago. Oh, wow. And I got to a point, yeah, man, every single thing, like my schedule and my emails and answering people's stuff and videos and speeches and travel, like everything. So I got to a point where I realized, you know, I'd, I'd grown as much as – was possible with the amount of hours I had in a day and to grow further I needed someone to take some of the some of the workload from me so I could do more other things that's incredible did you ever think it would grow to this size I mean like when you were sitting on the couch doing that television interview on sunrise back in nah. 2014 did you ever think it would get to this point well I'm not really one to think too far into the future but I definitely knew that I was going to work very hard to, you know, to b do the justice that the animals deserve and to, you know, be dedicated and committed and to create as much meaningful change as I could. So I didn't know exactly where it would go and I still don't know where it's going, but I just knew I was going to work real hard and, yeah, it's good to see that a lot of it's paid off. Absolutely, mate. And one of the biggest things you've taken part in recently was the Animal Rights March in Tel Aviv, Israel, with 30,000 people. Tell us more about that, mate. Uh, that was crazy, man. Well, it was weird because they um, asked me to do a speech there and I was like, yeah, fine. You know, that would be amazing. I'd love to. It was such an honor to be asked to speak at the largest ever Animal Rights March. And then I was in the front row in the center. I was standing next to Ingrid Newkirk from PETA. And we could just have a conversation just